Hey everyone, it's Amador, and I was playing with my Tilda Scraps yesterday, so I was like, okay, well, I have a lot of them because I've been doing a lot of Tilda projects and stuff, but um, I wanted to use them, and I remembered how I made the little um, greeting farm cards with the scraps of the little uh, little boy and the girl in like little hoodies, and I have the this stamp set, which is a Tilda stamp set, and this is a retired stamp set that was sent to me by Rebecca, the Miss Haven, uh, here on YouTube. Hi, Rebecca. Thank you so much. I am loving the heck out of these things, okay? Um, so this one is a garden-themed one, and it says garden with a little plaque. Most of them have, like, a little plaque. There's a bird, these flowers with the buttons, this cute little birdhouse, and in one of the... Um, the books there's actually a pattern to make this bird birdhouse in a little planter in a little pot with some all kinds of little things um so yeah so i used that one and i busted out my sewing machine because i wanted to stitch the cards and the funny thing is that i did the first one i stitched the square like perfectly really nice really neat because i wanted to be perfect the second one and i don't know if i mentioned this but while i'm crafting i like to either have like a movie playing on my ipad or something or music or something to kind of you know background noise kind of situation so the funny thing is i was watching some comics on netflix or something and i was laughing so hard that i just kept going on the card and it was all crooked and you know whatever so i'm like well it's ruined i'm like no it's still stitched and cute so i just went ahead and went back on the other one and i'll show you anyway um so i made two i made a pink one and um and um a darker one and i used my um on one of them i used my flower garden ink pad i mean ink pad <laughs> paper pad this is the first time i've ever cut into it and this is one of the older um tilda papers the colors are just these teals and pinks and oh, just love it, love it, love it. That's the one I used right here. So, since it's the larger piece, I keep it in the pad. But when it comes to scraps, this is where I keep my scraps. This is one of those, um, like, 12 by 12 for your paper and stuff like that. As you can see, there have tons of scraps. Now, I do divide them up into one thing. I keep, you know, the, the pieces. If it's bigger than a square inch, I'll keep it because I can at least make a butterfly or something out of it. But this little bag... If I actually die cut anything or um, or punched anything out, look, there's one of my gingerbread men. This is the doohickey snowflake die from the um, All That Is Christmas collection. But if see, I, I stamped a little teapot, a little die cut, hello, a tag. If I cut, die cut, or punched anything out or cut anything specific out, I will put it in this little bag. Well, these are all scraps. This has specific stuff that was die cut and I could still use and it's already basically ready. And here is, sorry for the noise, here is, oh and here are my, my buttons as well, my uh, homemade tilt the buttons, there's a video on that also. Um, but yeah, here's the scraps from when I make sets and stuff like that, so yeah, let me put that aside. Ah, I almost dropped it. Now the other one that I used, I also used the All That Is Spring, so I'll show you the cards, let me show you the cards. Like I said, this is the, um, the, um, the stamp set I used. Thank you, Rebecca. Um, okay, so here's my card. And here is, I want it to look like, you know, like, obviously it was stitched. Like I said, this one is the one I made. Perfect square. And then I roughed it up on the sides. But the other one was the one that I messed up. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go back over it. And I did kind of, you know, little wonky stitches to show. So this is, and here's where I use my scraps. Look how cute that is. And I put one of these little, um, and this, uh, oh my goodness, how embarrassing. There's a glue string. Um, shame on me. Um, I use these, oh, these, uh, millinery flowers. I totally drew a blank there for a second. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. For the little, there's a little flower in the thing, but they were so tiny I didn't want to cut it out. But look, these are all scraps. And I stamped the head and the hands on Copic paper just so I can color in with the Copic um my Copics and stuff but there is the hat they're still seriously they're still a little embarrassing okay see things happen I make mistakes um and this one look just all of these little pieces the little pocket is separate as well love this kitchen stripe this is I think is these papers are mainly from the the scraps are mainly from the country escape because you guys know I love that pad. But look at the the background paper, 
super gorgeous. Look, even the socks. Cute. And here's where the um, the little pants roll up. And this one has a cute little blue scarf. So what I did is on the other one I made a tag, but on this one I used a heart punch. And I just stitched this smile. And this is from the My Little Bicycle um, or Little Yellow Bicycle dies from uh, from Hobby Lobby. But yeah, I just stitched it on there. And then just to, it's all dimensional. And I used foam, of course. But here is a little birdhouse. How cute. And the cool thing is with this birdhouse and with this um, pot is I cut it. I stamped it several times on different pieces of paper. And I cut it and I just swapped them out. And I think I actually still have. Yeah. Let me show you. Here's one. And I just swapped out the little the top and the bottom. This one I didn't even cut out. But there's this one right here. So the difference is though on the stamp, it's a tall stick and it has like it says homegrown right there. But I didn't want to show that and I just wanted it to be like the six. So I just cut it off right there. And boom. That's what I did. And here's a little birdie that's where is it? That stamp right there. Look how cute and they each have like little little dots kind of shadowing. And I use like I said, this is all scratch paper. Just scratch paper. But how cute is that? I I love it. I love it. And I made another one with the um I had other papers, um, scrap papers from Tiny Treasures and um Homemade ha Happiness Homemade. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make one's kind of the opposite. And this one is the other one. The funny thing is, I'm like, these darkers are colored. And these colors are darker. I mean, my dyslexia is kicking in. I'm like, I didn't, um, I didn't expect it to be this dark. But honestly, this one turned out to be my favorite out of the two. Totally, totally love it. So here is where I stitched the paper and I layered it. Oh, this is also on um, that 110. So you can see my stitching in the back. That's how wonky I made it. Let's see, and there's just, I just went to town. It was fun. Um, that 110 Recollections cardstock. And I just layered it with the color right there. And then this print, super, super cute. And just roughed up the edges. Oh, yeah. And I distressed all of the papers with my distressor. But look at that. And this one has a little bu a bu a blue millinery flower in the hat. Like I said, all of the these are just scrap pieces of paper. And then I just fussy cut everything. It is important, though, to make sure that you go around the edges after you cut it with a marker of the same color of the ink to kind of make sure you don't get those white edges and look you can see how it's dimensional in there um i did use i used the chocolate brown uh, memento ink because i don't like to use the black inks because sometimes it just it gives it a too strong a line this kind of gives it that soft muted tone but yes look at this little polka dot i think this is from tiny treasures and these are just little look i used the same paper here for the little pocket little gingham here's the pot I absolutely love this birdhouse stamp. And here is, and here's where I put the birdie on this one. So they're a little different, mainly because afterwards I realized if I put the bird up here, it would cover the S and it would look like it would just say mile. And why would someone get a card that says mile on it? Anyway, um, uh, so this is the tag and this is just a tag I die cut. Um, but I did stamp with my little tiny attacher. I finally got one. Yeah, Tim Holtz has more of my money now. Um, with this ribbon that kind of coordinated. This is like old Martha Stewart ribbon. But here's the smile again, and I cut it out with the... I just wanted to kind of coordinate there. I punched a heart, and the tag was too long, and it was kind of taken away, kind of fading this out. So I went ahead and cut it, and this I cut it with... Um, boop, 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 where is it? Okay. This I blame on Laura and Elise because I bought this set. And you guys know I hate pink tools. Um, I love crafting with pink. Don't get me wrong. I love crafting with pink. I don't wear pink. I don't like pink. You know, whatever. Outside of crafting. But I got these. And these are the new, the new um, Teresa Collins. And this is um, mini pinking and mini scallops. I haven't even used the scallop. But the pinking, oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> And I wanted to cut it short, and I just cut it, and it looked kind of stumpy. So then I cut it with that, and look how adorable that looks. And then the tag, I just sewed the smile and the little bow on there. I mean, the little bow, the heart on there as well. So yeah, I absolutely love them. I like them way more. And I'm like, you know what? This is a way, you guys, tilted paper is not cheap. And by the yes, I do get my tilted paper, by the way, you guys, at artattacksupplies.com. I'll leave a link in the description as well. Um, tilted paper is not cheap, so you might as well get your money's worth and use up all the scraps. Now it is a lot of fussy cutting, but look how adorable. Look at the payoff, look at the results. Totally, totally worth all the fussy cutting. Super cute, and I do use the um, Scotch Quick Dry. 
I had to run and get another bottle. It, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. Nathan's like, what? I'm like, I'm out of glue. Yeah, it was that bad. It was drastic. And I had to go to the craft store just for some glue. But look at that. I absolutely love them. Love them, love them, love them. So yes. So Rebecca, again, thank you for the stamp set. And I'm putting it, stamp sets, and I'm putting them to good use. So yeah, so let me know what you guys think. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, everyone.